Hello, beautiful people. My name is Naila, your host for the Art of Living show. Our guest today is a celebrity dermatologist and a skin cancer specialist. He addresses various beauty procedures and boosts self-esteem for his patients. He enjoys snorkeling, stargazing, and scuba diving. Hmm, quite different, right? He lives by the words, eat, pray, and bottle. Like, really? <laughs> What's that about? Hello, guys, stay tuned. Charlie. Hello, hello. Come on in. <laughs> How are you? All right, all right. You new gym gear. Yes, I just I was on the treadmill for a little bit uh -huh. and uh, picking some weights and uh -huh. all of that. Nice. And, uh, Keeping fit. Yes, now I've hit 40, so now you need very to start so taking care young. of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> now I got your plants. Oh, thank you. Before thank you very show, you much. That's so kind of you. You're most welcome. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for inviting us to your home. This is so beautiful, my goodness. Thank you. You know, we were just having breakfast. Yeah. So why don't you come? Let's have breakfast. Okay. And then um, uh, we can do the tour after that. How big is the house? Mm, it's around... Uh, 5,000 square foot. Okay. So this is mum. Hi, Hello. how are you? Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yes, my name is Naila. Naila? Yes. Good to see you. Good to see you too. She looks young and beautiful. Yes, I've, we've been uh, doing Botox on her for the last 10 years. <laughs> She's 72 years old and you is can't it? even tell. Oh my goodness, she looks amazing. Thank, Thank you. you. So this is um, something that mom makes. It's called bateta power. Oh, bateta power. Yeah. Okay. And it is uh, rice uh, with some potato. Okay. Mixed. Yes. And then there's some herbs and spices. And mama can tell you more about the spices and the pomegranate that she's put into it and everything. This is blessed rice and the potatoes. Oh, okay. And uh, this is Indian breakfast. That mm. is Indian breakfast. Oh, yes. wow. Okay. Tastes really good. Uh -huh. Different. It's an acquired taste, but very <laughs> nice. I see you've got lots of plants, beautiful gardens as well. You guys are into plants. Mama has the green thumb. Uh -huh. <laughs> Some of the trees, mm -hmm. they have been transported from Uganda, mm -hmm. then from India, really? Tanzania. Mm -hmm. Some of them are, you know, what you say, 15, 20 years old, some of the uh, flowering plants. Okay. Yeah. What's your favorite plants? I love uh, orchids. I love orchids also. Uh -huh. But I like everything. You like everything? Trees also, mm -hmm. mountains, forests. Yes. Everything I love. I love the nature. Do you even do any gathering at all? I am too busy doing what I love. Yeah. Which is where medicine yes. meets art. Transforming faces. I know you studied medicine, then you went and studied cosmetology. So I studied medicine at the University of Nairobi. Yes. After which I did my internship in Thika District Hospital. Okay. After that I went to the university of Liverpool where I studied genitourinary medicine mm -hmm. and then after that I went to Harvard where I studied uh, cosmetic dermatology. Okay. Then I went to Cardiff where I studied more dermatology and then after that I did a master's in skin cancer mm -hmm. with uh, the University of Queensland. Mm -hmm. I'm board certified by the American Board of Laser Surgery okay. and the American Board of uh, Aesthetic Medicine. Wow. And um, I have a certification in age management medicine as well. From what age should you start? So from 35, 40 onwards. Yeah. Then yes. through a combination of diet, mm -hmm. supplements, mm -hmm. hormones, mm -hmm and uh, exercise, okay. we are able to keep you yes. 
looking and feeling younger. Okay. In some cases, we're even talking about reverse menopause. So science is really advanced and uh, amazing. I can't wait for us to go in. Are you gonna give me the tour now? Absolutely. This is the dining area. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, we've dined with a lot of dermatologists from Switzerland, from Austria, from Spain. So the table is from uh, Mombasa. Okay. Which is handmade. Oh, nice. And uh, natural wood. You've had it for how long? Um, six, seven years. It goes very well with your ceiling. I know you bought the house, right? Uh, yes. We've been here for um, uh, six to seven years now. What did you like about the house? When we got it, it was in really, really bad shape. Okay. So we had to do up a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, um, uh, so this is a Persian carpet. Yes. And this carpet, mm -hmm was handmade all right and they actually took five years what to make this carpet by hand wow. because every knot yes. has to be tied and stitched and cut and it has to be done mm -hmm. to perfection where did you buy this from uh this was from iran what about the table it's it's quite a statement these we got locally mm -hmm from uh, Kashmir Arts. I like the fact that there was glass on top yes. and then there's a depressed inlay yes. which looks like a lovely design. Yes. And um, traditionally yeah. in uh, India, mm -hmm. people used to put spices. Oh, I see. Yeah. And then there's a surround sound system connected to the TV. Yes. And we have some garden speakers as well. So okay. when I'm meditating, I just put it on and I um, uh, listen to some chants and things like that. Okay. So, Are you spiritual? Yes, very. Okay. Um, uh, I was born uh, into Hinduism, but I am now spiritual. Where did you get the, 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 the seats? Because I like them very much. Yeah. They're very cozy. Mm, Mama got the seats. And the chandeliers? So the chandeliers, they, they give it a nice bright lighting and when you walk into the room yeah you just feel calm and relaxed yeah what i like about you is you have a lot of space and the big windows as well it's very airy um and uh, the, the way you guys pick your furniture is from lamu mm. and um you can talk to me about the the painting so the paintings mm -hmm. most of these are done by um, my aunt okay. who is a very famous artist in uh, india okay uh, she's called trupti dave mm -hmm. she's done 24 exhibitions all over india wow. and um, she's actually won a lifetime achievement award so uh -huh. now what happens is when she starts painting mm -hmm. she goes into a meditative state mm -hmm. And she just starts writing, mm -hmm. writing, writing, writing. Mm -hmm. And you'll see this in some of her art all over the place. Mm -hmm. And she just goes into a trance. Ah, yeah. Okay. And we don't know what it means, okay. but it just comes to her okay. and she just starts writing. This is a statement piece. So this is a gift from uh, very close friend of mine. Okay. She's called Alexandra Spiratkos mm -hmm. and she's a famous artist. She's exhibited in Zurich, in Austria, in uh, Italy and she lives in Malindi part of the time mm -hmm. and the other parts of the time she's traveling all over the world. Okay, I see an yeah. elephant. Did she, was it, did she do it specifically for you? Yes, it was commissioned wow. for me. I love it. It's beautiful. This is Mama's bedroom. Okay. We wanted to be minimalistic with lots of nature and lots of light and all the bedrooms okay. have the same view overlooking the garden. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of greenery. Yes, I mm. love it. I love the views and the bed as well. Did you guys uh, pick the set, your furniture from the same place? Yes. The beds? Yes. Beautiful, very nice. And then over here is my office. So okay. whatever computer work and 
things that I need to do, I'll do it over here. Okay. Yes, and then this is my bedroom. Here, so talk here. to me about the beds because I see yeah. the bed. And yes, the... so it's all uh, Lamu furniture. Yeah. Yeah. What was the process of you? You know, it's this. What size is this? This is not a king size. It's extra, right? Yes. It's eight by seven. Eight by seven. Yes. You like extra. Yes. Extra things. Yep. <laughs> so talk to me about the process and your thought behind it. Because I say it also has, it holds the... Yeah, so there's a frame to cover so that the mosquitoes don't come in. Okay. So we talked to the guys in Lamu and then together yeah. we came up with uh, a design and then it was... What uh, wood is this? Do you know? Uh, it's, uh, is it Mvuli? Mvuli. Yeah, nice. Mvuli. Uh -huh. And then um, uh, I have a telescope. Okay. And um, I like to look at the stars. Oh, yeah. So it, this is a computerized telescope. Okay. And what happens is um, you key in the coordinates and you say, I want to see this constellation, or that constellation. And then uh, with an inbuilt compass, it mm -hmm. just moves. And then you look inside and you can see the stars. So you step out. Nairobi is not the best place because yeah. of the clouds and the pollution and all of that. Yeah. But then when we go towards Magadi or Samburu, uh -huh. then I carry the telescope with me. You feel so calm, uh -huh. you feel peaceful. You, I feel like there's some kind of energy that gets drawn towards me from the universe. That table right there. This is also a Kenyan table. I love its smoothness, its curves. Like if you just, yeah? Yeah. It's so nice and curvy. The carpet. Yes, this is also a Persian carpet. Uh-huh. Yeah, so the, the two came in together. You like art? I love art. Yeah? That's why I'm a cosmetic dermatologist, because I combine yes. art and science together. You're also very fashionable. Absolutely. I have a little bit of Indian wear that I'm going to carry for the wedding. Uh -huh. You're going for a wedding? Yes, I'm okay. going to India for a wedding. So is it like a, um, designed by a designer or you just went into a shop and bought it? So we went into a shop and bought it. Okay. So how would you describe your style? Uh, so normally I'm in uh, formal wear from Monday to Friday. Saturday is semi-formal because I work half the day. Yes. And then Sunday is a very casual Sunday. Shorts and a lo a loafers or things like that. Somebody recently gave me this as a present for my 40th. Oh, lovely. And it's uh, it's, it's pretty. A, yes, and it's a, it's a pimp daddy cane. <laughs> <laughs> yes. When you pull it out, there's actually a knife. Oh, so wow. It was a lovely present. Oh, wow. <laughs> and when I need some privacy, yeah. then I have this zone where I can um, hang out and, uh, and, be. and be with my friends. Um, I know you're going to go to your auntie's in um, India tomorrow to do something. So I want to give you another gift. Oh. Yes. I know I give you plants, but I have another surprise for you. Wow, I'm excited. Are you excited? Absolutely. Come with me. Come with me. Thirsty, would you like a drink? Yes, please, doctor. Oh, you're a good host, I see. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. This gentleman who are going to get your hands dirty a little to get you and reveal something amazing for you. Wow, lovely. Do It Yourself is brought to you by Plascon. Color your world. My name is Gumayo and this is Shadrach, we are from the DIY studio. The DIY studio is a space dedicated for people with shared interest in DIY activities, where you come, do a DIY activity, then at the end of the day you go with something that you've made. So today we are going to make something for you, to make something with you for the festive season. So these are plants of wood that we pre-cut, so we're just going to do some bit of jewelry, 
and then fix on the writing. I want us to create holes, small holes along this line, just at the center. I'll do one, then you do that the other one. Now I'm going to put some hooks. So I'm just put three. Okay, it's now we can display the lights. Just here. Let's have a look to see what we've created. Wow, it looks so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> this is so amazing and unique way of having Christmas without having Christmas tree. It's a simple yes. and expensive way. Yeah. Just yeah. Love it! And you're ecologically friendly because you're not cutting down trees to celebrate Christmas. Yes. Do It Yourself was brought to you by Plascon. Color your world. This is my clinic, okay. Avenue. All right. And looks uh, beautiful. You've grown. This is a map of um, all the countries that I've had patients from. It's over 120 countries wow. that I have treated people you from. You travel there or they come here? They come here. They come here. And then this is the pharmacy. We have a spa okay. and a massage area. This is a selfie station. Okay. Where you can actually take a selfie saying that you love Avene. Oh, nice. Yeah. So Lovely. We, uh -huh. we talk about all our treatments and these so are... So, are these people, are these your clients? Um, uh, these are people that I have shared a moment with. Yes. This was Mama before and after her Botox treatments. Oh, lovely. What treatment did you do on her? What? Botox? Botox, dermal fillers, collagen. Uh-huh. Yeah, all of that. Okay. So, like, that's a non-surgical... Uh, Facelift, we do buttocks and breast enhancement, mm -hmm. laser hair removal, tattoo removal, anything basically to make the body look more beautiful. This is Angelina Jolie, if I'm not wrong. I met her somewhere and in France. Okay. And I was lucky enough to get a picture with her. All right. And so this is one of my taglines. Okay. Do you want to look as beautiful? This is Simon Orion, yeah, right? This, yes, this is Simon Orion, mm -hmm. um, a Hollywood celebrity dermatologist. Yes. He does Kim Kardashian, Drew Barrymore, all the top um, uh, uh, celebrities in Hollywood go to him. Okay. And um, you uh, worked with him? Yes, I, I got. Fantastic. I worked with him and I got some training with him. Oh. Yeah. So this is just if you parts of your body you're not happy with, you can no. get adjusted. So this is tattoo removal. Oh, tattoo removal. Yeah, so one treatment, mm -hmm. second treatment, third treatment, fourth. So it's just showing how the tattoo yeah. fades. Okay, yeah. the shape. Especially when you have your ex-boyfriend's name. And then we help you get a toned body to build muscle and burn fat. So we okay. have over 14 rooms. Okay. Different rooms have different treatments. The cheapest and most affordable treatments that can come for here. What treatment would that be? Laser hair removal. Yeah. For the upper lip is two or three thousand shillings. Okay. Laser hair removal for the underarms uh -huh. is five thousand shillings a session. Okay. So it starts from as low as that. Okay, that's wonderful. So what's next for Avani? Now I want to slow down. I have my patients. I have a long list of patients yes and I just want to stick to my old patients yes we have new doctors that are joining us okay and I'll be training the new doctors to take care of 
all the new patients and everything. Okay. And um, I mean, sometimes I see a hundred patients a day. Wow. It's exhausting. It's very exhausting, yes. So now what yeah. I want to do yeah. is I want to take a back seat okay. and I want to train younger doctors and help uh, implant the knowledge that I have acquired yes. onto them. Yes. I want to go more into um, uh, training doctors, learning more, and maintaining my old patients. Yes. And uh, just my old patients are now like family, so it's nice. Yes. You see them after a year, two years, and you just sit, chapa stories. And that's all I want to do now. What's the stigma around Botox? Because Kenyans, most of them are not very comfortable with Botox, by the way. Yes, it's because of poor education. Yeah. Yeah. And people say, oh, Botox is bad. Or you heard a housewife saying it. Yeah. But if you look at it scientifically, mm -hmm. it is something that is used for migraine. It is used for underarm sweating. Mm -hmm. It is used for cerebral palsy. It's used for stroke. There's over 40 medicinal uses oh, for of Botox. Botox. What do people need to do uh, to get here, book an appointment? What's the procedure? Okay, so um, uh, you can just call the clinic. The number is 0714-500-500, Yaya Center. And uh, you can find me on Instagram as well, Dr. Pancholi, D-R-P-A-N-C-H-O-L-I. Okay, thank you. There you go, beautiful people. Dr. Pancholi, eat, pray, and Botox. Now we eat, pray, eat. love, and Botox. <laughs> <laughs> eat, pray, and Botox. Eat, pray, love, and Botox. Eat, pray, love, and Botox. See you next week on Sunday at 6 o'clock. Thank you for watching. Tips to make your next paint job a success. Brought to you by Plaskin. Wait for the dry weather. Humidity means drips and slow dry, so avoid painting on a rainy day. Tip number two, do a thorough visual inspection and prep. Any cracked flecking or peeling areas need to be lightly sandaled before applying primer and paint. Tip number three, buy high quality brushes, roller covers and painter's tape. Tip number four, Know your nap walls. The more texture you have, the thicker the nap you'll want on your roller cover so that it can reach into crevices and give complete coverage. Tip number five, paint from top to bottom. Use your roller to apply paint from the ceiling downwards.